with Adrian, he's the trainer of the team. We um, develop some trainings with nutrition. And it depends on how intensity of the training is. The important thing is the carbohydrate. When you're training harder and harder and harder, the, cons the consumption of uh, carbohydrate is much more. So your body must learn to train to consume the carbohydrate. Last winter we um, developed a new drink with Born. The Born is um, the new drink is the Isopro drink. We developed that with the latest researches we found in the literature. What we found is that we have we have a drink with two different kinds of carbohydrates in it. So for Marshall, for example, it's important to be as fresh as possible at the finish line, so we make more chance to win. On a day for a stage race in the Tour de France, it's important to eat a lot. For example, um, we have here the breakfast. It's our, around the eight slices of bread with some uh, yogurt in it. Between the breakfast and the race, it's important to uh, eat uh, enough so you don't have the hunger feeling in your body. And so you can eat some fruit, for example, and then the stage is going to start. race for example for um, five hours the riders drink around the eight to ten bottles for the stage so that's a lot of drinking they eat a lot of bars and gels and when the race is harder they are eating more gels than bars because you must chew and if you must chew with a high heart rate it's very difficult In the last 10k of the race, the riders don't eat a lot. They eat nothing because the last 10k is very hectic and they don't have the time to eat. So maybe they drink something, but in the last case, they normally throw the bottles away for the last weight and they go sprinting as fast as possible. From the moment you wake up, it's important to drink and eat a lot to perform well in the sprint train.